Joseph Bologna had this life that was so remarkable that it almost sounds like fiction. We think of him as the first black composer of classical music, but his full legacy is really one of seemingly unlimited accomplishment. He was born to a French plantation owner and an enslaved woman from Senegal in the Caribbean. And when he was eight years old, his father moved to Paris and he took Joseph and his mother with him. And when he got to Paris, he raised Joseph just like you would expect a nobleman to raise his son. So Joseph Bologna got this broad cosmopolitan education in Paris of all places. And during his own time, he was actually best known for his fencing. He was said to be the best swordsman in Europe. The legend was that he had only lost one match. And when he was 17 years old, he was basically made part of Louis XIV's secret service. He was appointed to the king's guard. And this is where he got the title that he is often better known by, the Chevalier de Saint-Georges. Chevalier being a knight. That was the title that came with being in the king's guard, Saint-Georges being his family name. So he was an amazing swordsman, and we know him today as a prolific composer and an accomplished violinist. He premiered his own violin concertos. He premiered his own string quartets for his symphonies. In many cases, he formed and led the orchestra that performed those works. The future president of the United States, John Adams, called him the most accomplished man in Europe, which is no small statement coming from a guy who was visiting Paris to wrap up a revolution and start a new government. So Joseph Bologna really embodied the spirit of the 18th century Renaissance man.